Many states that were using a three-drug cocktail for lethal injections have been made to switch since the manufacturer of the drugs placed a restriction of their use in executions. But just recently, an Ohio man executed using that state's new two-drug cocktail is raising questions about the ethics of the method altogether. The new drug mix uses metazolam, a sedative, and hydromorphone, a powerful analgesic derived from morphine to euthanize the offender. It took Dennis McGuire over 20 minutes to die this past Thursday. Eyewitnesses say he did so under great duress, gasping and heaving. It's prompting authorities to revisit how they put Ohio's death row inmates under from now on. The restriction of the old drugs is also affecting the state of Missouri as well. They've already put two inmates to death using that state's new one drug method, pentobarbital, a powerful sedative. However, the supplier is a mystery and whistleblowers want the executions to stop until the state comes clean about it. With these two recent problems along with the other previous issues, many are starting to question the justification for having the death penalty in the first place.